Matt Meeker here with Innovative IDM. Over the next 12 hours, I'm going to talk to you, what, five minutes or less? Five minutes or less. This is an SMC demo board. I'm going to cover some of the main components on you for you the next couple minutes. Talk about what they do and how they work and what the benefit of them are. Uh, starting up here, we have just a basic sort of filter regulator combination. SMC has a broad line of filter, regulator, lubricator combinations. Here we have a water separator that's going to help get all, the, all the, the main water particles out of the line. After that, we have a regulator with a filter built in. Now, the nice thing about this regulator, uh, sorry, this filter regulator combination, is that, of course, it does have the regulator built here right on top. Simply pop up the top and you can twist to regulate your air pressure. The gauge built in. There is a different gauge that has a much larger display if you'd like the larger display gauge. Some people like this, this gauge because it has less profile sticking out, less likely to ever get knocked off by someone walking by. In this case, the actual bowl is a two-piece polycarbonate bowl. Now, the older style bowls, and some of the competitors still have bowls that have a metal outside with a small view window or a small slit. The nice thing about the polycarbonate bowl is that it's viewable from the full 360 degree range, but also if it ever gets impacted or hit, it won't actually stay deformed like a metal, metal bowl would, like a metal exterior bowl would. So this two-piece polycarbonate bowl actually has a much better lifespan uh, and is easier to view all the way around than the older metal style bowls were. Now coming out of that, we then have what's called a VHS. This is very nice because it allows us to be compliant with OSHA regulations on power lockout and power isolation. OSHA rules say that all sources of power must be locked out. Pneumatics, air, one of those types of power. How do we do that? You can see right here it actually says supply right there in yellow and the air is coming through it. When you turn it, it actually dumps the air back through the exhaust. Now you can put a silencer here or order them with silencers built in so it isn't that loud exhaust noise. But when you put it on exhaust, it dumps the air pressure through and it blocks air pressure coming this way. So the supply is cut off and the air in your machine and your system gets dumped back through it. It also has lockout points on both sides. So you can now come through and actually lock out, tag out the air just like you have to power. This means you are now actually isolating your machine for safety. Because this is such a useful device, some people actually put this on this side of the filter regulator lubricator combination. And they'll put it on this side so they can turn it off, lock it out, and now service pneumatic equipment. You know, right now we still have line air pressure coming through up to this point. So you can't really stop and service this gear here. Well, if you don't have another valve upstream and you want to be able to lock out to do maintenance on the air line, you might put this on this side of the gear. Not a problem. You just want to make sure your filter is one that is capable of the higher speed backflow, meaning one that if you dump your valve to exhaust, the air from your entire system can flow through the filter quickly and dump out through the VHS if it's on this side of the system. So whichever one you want to go with, we can do it for you. We just want to make sure we get the right parts for you in the series. So let's say the air leaves here and we're just going to do a simple cylinder setup. It comes to a valve. SMC has many, many valve setups. We can do them on large manifolds with remote I.O., on manifolds with different types of communication protocols, EtherCAT, whatever you need. Uh, or we can just do something like this with a simple connector. So my PLC can be sending a signal, 120 volts, uh, 24 volts DC, whatever you need. We can make that work. And that controls the actual valve right here. That valve is going to be supplying air to the extend or retract side of the cylinder. So this is the extend side. When you supply air to it, the cylinder rod will extend. This is the retract side. When you supply air to the retract side, the cylinder rod will retract. The nice thing about this cylinder is that we've already installed little SMC flow controls on it. We have a saying in the pneumatics world, when in doubt, meter out. So, if I want to slow or if I want to control the speed at which my cylinder extends, I don't actually control the speed at which the air comes in, I control the speed at which the exhaust happens. So if I want to control how fast the cylinder extends, as this cylinder is extending, it's exhausting air this way. So I actually adjust this one to control how fast my cylinder extends. Vice versa, if I want to control how fast my cylinder retracts, I actually adjust this flow control so that as my cylinder retracts, it's exhausting air out this port, and I'm restricting or opening up this control to control the speed of the retract. So I can make it extend very quickly, or I can make it extend very slowly based on this meter out. I can make it retract very quickly or very slowly based on this meter out. SMC has several offerings. The one you see here actually has a little display on it. So as you turn it, there's actually a little number, a little dial indicator that's changing values as you turn it. Makes it very easy to remember. You know that you can set that thing to a three for the, the speed you want. Maybe a different product needs to run at a seven. Not a problem. As you turn it, that dial indicator changes, and it's easy for anyone to be able to set it. You can even click it down to make it easier so that no one actually hits it by mistake. 
Of course, we can have these with different size ports on them to whatever plumbing you need. If you have any questions about any SMC offering or anything else from Innovative IDM, please remember to give us a call for your next automation project. Thanks. Have a good day.